Alright, so, um, hey guys, it's been a while. What's today? Today's the 23rd, um, I haven't posted a video since the 11th, so it's been almost two weeks. Um, basically, as school went back in, so it's just, life's kind of just been a pain in the butt. Um, and also, you know, it's exam week this week, so I'm writing a lot of exams and some study. So it's been a lot of exam prep and stuff for the past two weeks. So, um, hence lack of videos. Um, tonight is actually, well, I guess I, sp I suppose I had all day yesterday, but yesterday I wasn't feeling great. Um, dairy is starting to bother my stomach again, so I'm just kind of trying to give up on that a bit. Um, Anyways, I have a review on some e.l.f. brushes for you. Um, the 11 piece, well they're all e.l.f. studio brushes I guess, the 11 piece brush um, kit and then also their new sort of um, stippling brush. Yeah, it's called a stippling brush. Um, first thing I guess I'm going to start with is the stippling brush. Uh, one thing that I love about e.l.f. brushes um, in general is the fact that they have like the name on it. They have the name on the brush, like, and each different name, like, on every single brush. So, you know, if I'm talking about the e.l.f. stipple brush, then I'm talking about this brush right here because it says the e.l.f. stipple brush on it. That's something I love about the e.l.f. brushes. I also, um, love in general about the e.l.f. brushes is that they're, they're always very sleek. It's what, like the studio brushes because they're, you know, they have the black handle, the black ferrule, um, they're mostly black hair, so they're they're just kind of all like really nice, really sleek. Um, but anyways, on to the actual stippling brush. I bought this in hopes of using it to stipple foundation. Um, one thing I can say is that it is it will it would not work for stippling foundation. It's much too flimsy um, to actually use to be able to like you know blend your foundation and buff it like work it into the skin well. It's just too flimsy for that. So what I started using it on for was um, my blush. Now let me tell you, this is one of the best blush brushes I have ever used because it is, it's very fluffy. It's not very dense, um, but it, it's it's really nice, really fluffy, and because it's a dual fiber brush, it um, works with both powder and cream blushes, and, and um, it's all synthetic. So I know that I'm not gonna get you know any like blush like cream blush bits into my um my natural bristle hairs so it, this is actually a really nice brush for blushes and I love it for that um, it blends and just like it places and blends the color beautifully and it's gorgeous it's not actually what I use today but nah. and now um, we're gonna get on to the 11 piece um, studio brush set so basically this has every studio brush um, that's out there except for the stippling brush. And I do have duplicates of the, um, the flat top powder brush and the small angled brush. So I'm just going to go through. Um, first you get this really nice um, synthetic, or er, synthetic, it's like, um, like black nylon, uh, but it's a really nice like wipeable fabric or material I guess. And then, um, on the inside it has all these, like, little individual pockets for your brushes. And it does have, it has ten pockets in it. Um, I actually just dropped a brush. But the, um, the, the ones on this side, like, where the, where I would put my eye brushes, like, I have my face brushes over here and my eye brushes over here. The ones on, like, this side, um, are, they're designed the same way that the, um, the face brushes are. So you can honestly, like... You could fit probably, see I have three eye brushes in this one hole and there's still probably room for a fourth. So this is, it's definitely, um, it definitely has enough room to hold more than just the 11 studio brushes, which I do like. But just for right now, um, just to tell you, the 11 studio brushes, basically, you could fit all of your eye brushes into one hole. So, just to let you know that. So, um, I just washed these actually, well, I just washed most of them. So, um, the face brushes are kind of still wet, but I can still show them to you. Um, this right here is the powder brush, the e.l.f. powder brush. It's the flat top, you know, sort of round. It's kind of a little bit of a wonky shape. Um, 
brush it is it's still wet but I have used this um, I have used it for powder I haven't used this or haven't tried using this for foundation yet because I have a brush that I really love for foundation or I'll just you know use my fingers because I sometimes sometimes I just like how that goes um, but I haven't used this for foundation so I can't tell you how that goes I do know um, and I have noticed even like on this brush that the handle is kind of a little bit loose and actually on my other powder brush it it's loose like a like a centimeter um, so that's kind of a pain in the butt but I just kind of sort of you know push it back really hard but it's it's a very soft brush it would be really nice for powder I feel um, and it's just you know it's kind of rubbing a wet brush all over my face but eh, who cares but it is really nice it's really soft and it's it's very dense it doesn't really move so this this in theory would make a really nice would would be a really good foundation brush I just haven't used it for that use yet so I can't comment on that but moving on to the the complexion brush this brush when it is not wet is so soft so 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 soft um, I love this brush for an all over finishing powder I wouldn't use this with um, a silica powder because I don't feel that it would pick up the product enough but I use this with um, my complexion perfection you know the that weird powder that's got like the four colors and it's oh sorry it is really nice with that it's really soft it's really big really fluffy um, it's really good for you know that finishing powder it makes it look really nice so yeah that's a really nice brush Oh, and just to let you know, I got the glittered handle ones. Um, originally, I was going to get the glittered handles ones because they were having um, that you got it for $20.11 if you use the code like 2011 or something. But I ended up actually just using a 50% off the studio line. So I, But I do like the glitter handles. Um, next is the angled foundation brush. Um, I really like this for a concealer brush because it's angled so it can you know get into the contours of your nose um, get like around your mouth and like all those little crevices like up under your eyes and stuff um, I do feel that this would make a really nice foundation brush I personally don't like these you know the weird um, like flat brushes I prefer a brush more like this that's like you know really dense and really round but um, I did, I have used, th I think this would make a really nice, like, primer brush if you were, if you use a brush for your primer, or a really nice, really big concealer brush. Um, it could also be a really nice moisturizer brush if you were, like, a makeup artist and you, ha you didn't want to use your fingers for your moisturizer. I feel like this one would make a good substitute for your fingers. Next, we have the blush brush. And I don't know what happened to it. It used to be kind of sort of, like, angled on one like more angled on one side than the other but when I washed it today it just kind of went all wonky shaped but anyways so it it does still I guess kind of look more angled on one side oh crap my phone is not on silent um, but anyways so that's just kind of but anyways you know it's your standard it's just kind of a standard blush brush it's kind of smaller than I've seen a blush that I've seen most blush brushes like I know it's still big enough for my cheeks, but um, I'm using, or I was using the uh, the Coastal Scents Pointed Dome Brush, which is probably about this wide, but it's like a circle all the way around, so it's not thin like this. This brush just kind of surprised me that it was this thin. I don't know. But anyways, it is a really nice brush. Then we have the brush that I don't really see any use for. Um, it's the Fan Brush. But it's so thin that like I couldn't you couldn't use this for blush. Um, I suppose you could probably I don't think you could even use it to like wipe away fallout. So I think this is just kind of like a novelty. Oh look, I'm soft brush. Because I don't I don't think you could like use this with powder, and you probably you definitely couldn't use it with blush. It's just it's just too thin to do anything, really. Then your six sort of eye brushes. I guess one of them is technically supposed to be a face brush, but I use it as an eye brush. Um, 
first you get the eyeshadow C brush. This is the only brush that's actually dirty because this was sitting in my room and I didn't know that it was there. But um, it's just, you know, your standard eyeshadow brush. In comparison to my nose, that is how big it is. So it's a bigger eyeshadow brush. Um, you know, when you think of, this is the concealer brush. Uh, as the concealer brush, this brush being like your standard size. It is, it's a fairly, it's a bit bigger, um, but anyways, it's still a really nice brush. Um, it, you know, it's really fluffy, it's really dense and really fluffy, so it would be good for packing on shadow. It would also make a really nice highlight brush, which I think is, I think, what I used this brush for last. So that's the, um, the eyeshadow C brush. Then, the concealer brush, which I like to use as an eye shading brush for, like, packing on color, um, you know, it's just your standard thin, dense eyeshadow packing brush. I used it to pack on the shadow on my lids today. I like it. It's, you know, it's nothing special. It's just an eyeshadow brush. You know. But, anyways. Um, then you have these two brushes, which are... Whew, I'm kind of sort of really tired, and I kind of sort of really need a drink. Oh, that feels better. My throat's been hurting. I think it's because I'm talking so much. Um, then you get the small precision brush and the small smudge brush. Um, I can really only see like one use for these, or at least there's probably more than one use for this one, the small precision brush, which is a bit, well, it's probably like twice as big as the small smudge brush. This one you could probably, you could probably use as a lip brush. Um, you could probably use it as, you know, like an inner tear duct area brush. Um, you could probably use it for like eyeliner on your top, I like your top line if you felt the need. Um, it could also make like a really, really, really tiny concealer brush, I guess. But I haven't really used this brush for anything. This is actually the brush that I've been using, the small precision brush is actually the brush that I've been using to uh, clean up my nails because I for some reason couldn't find my angled brush that I normally use. And that was just the first one that I saw. Then you have this small smudge brush, which I is so small, it is way too small to do anything with. Like, that is the size of it compared to my nose. That is tiny. Like, it's tiny. Like, look at that, compared to my pinky. It's tiny. The only possible thing that I could see you using this brush for is to put eyeshadow on top of your eyeliner on the bottom waterline. That is the only, or as a nail brush. I think it would I think it would make a really nice nail brush like whether you're using it to paint your nails like to do like stripes and stuff or whether you're using it to just clean it up other than that I don't see any use for this brush except for you know bottom eyeliner and your nails then you have the small angled brush which is just you know your standard brows eyeliner that kind of brush. Um, these are normally the type of brush that I use for my nails because I like that they're angled so that they have that tip so you can get that tip like into the sides of your nails. Um, I don't know. I have two of these because I ordered this one and the powder brush um, separately on one order and then I ordered this one. So I now have like 600 of these tiny little angled brushes kicking around my house but you know it's your standard eyebrow eyeliner brush. Um, you know, it's really nice for either of them. Then you have this brush. This is the e.l.f. contour brush. This is such a nice brush. Um, I was, at first when I got this set, I was a little bit sad because it didn't have, you know, like your standard fluffy blending, blending brush. But it did have this contour brush. Um, first of all, when I first washed it and used it, I was like pulling chunks of hairs out of it. Just so you know, that does stop. Don't be alarmed, it does stop. My hair is looking really funny. My hair feels like it's just looking really funny. Like, that's not supposed to be there. Whatever. Having a bad hair day. I had to pull part of it back because it was just bothering me so much. Um, but anyways, back to the brush. Um, it's I, I was kind of upset because it didn't have like a fluffy blending brush, but it did have this. And um, yes, 
the hairs do come out. It does stop. Um, I'd say probably, you know, like maybe 10 or 15 little brush hairs came out and they were coming out in clumps and they look really scary because one just came out and I don't know if you can see that but they're kind of really long like they're kind of sort of like really long um, so it does seem kind of scary it does seem like your brush is falling apart but it does stop I promise this is actually a really nice blending brush um, it's not a shape that I'm used to, um, it's not a size that I'm used to, but on my eyes, where they're so small, it gets right in and blends beautifully. And I love it. Love, 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 love it. Like if you were only get, if you were going to skip all of the studio brushes and only get one brush, I would say get this one because you can do so much with it. Well, this one or the complexion brush, because the complexion brush is so soft. So, so soft. So if you were going to skip any of the studio brushes and only get two, the complexion brush and the contour brush. And you could honestly, you could do your whole face with it because this could work for your regular foundation. You could wash it off, use it on your powder foundation, use it on your blush. It's a bit big, but you could do it. Um, put your concealer on with your fingers and then use your contour brush and do all of your, your whole eyes. Like, so honestly, this kit here is definitely worth the $30 that you would pay for it. And the thing is, is that with e.l.f., you never actually pay. There's always a coupon code floating around somewhere. Whether it's um, the one that I generally use, it's Carolina, C-A-R-O-L-I-N-A. And if you spend, it's 50% off up to $15. So if you spend more than $15, you automatically get $7.50 off. So if you only bought this brush set and you use the code Carolina, then it would only be $22.50 plus shipping. Um, and I know with, in Canada, shipping is like $14.95. So that $7.50 is quite a help on shipping. No, I just brush just kind of flew off. So I would definitely get this brush or get this brush set if um, if you don't have any brushes and you really want some then this is a really nice set because you have your brushes to do absolutely everything. The only thing that that brush set doesn't come with that I kind of wish it did um, I would I would rather it came with this brush instead of the fan brush because you can't do anything with the fan brush and this makes a really nice blush brush. Just saying, just my opinion. Um, Elf, if you're listening, put this one in it, please. But anyways, um, that is my little review of the Elf Studio brush set. It is thirty dollars on eyeslipspace.com, but with you know with coupon codes running around, just Google El um, Elf coupon codes, and you can always find a good one. Um, you'll never actually pay thirty dollars for it. Uh, but yeah, so if you want brushes and you want really nice brushes, they're all synthetic. They're really nice, you know, all black. Um, so if you are in the market for some synthetic brushes that are really soft and really nice and only $3 a piece, but technically they're less than $3 a piece because you get the extra brush plus the case or $30. Um, so it works out to probably be like $2.80 a brush or something. But anyways... You get my point. They're really nice. They're very, very, very soft. Very pretty. Mm. And I love them. So anyways, that's my review. It's very long. 19 minutes on an 11 piece brush set. What are we gonna do? I don't know. But anyways, bye guys.